everyone, and welcome back to another edition of What's New with Doug. On today's episode, I'll be showing you how to make orange jerky in the food dehydrator. Today's episode is brought to you by me, myself, and I. First off, you want to take your meat. I bought a 3.75 pound slab of meat, uh, bottom roast beef, and... I did my best to, to uh, trim off as much fat as possible. Easier said than done. Um, yes, there's some, so please don't be a uh, uh, picky Peter here. And as you can see, I already started. You wanna make your cut as tight as possible. This is also the most dangerous and challenging part of the process um so i got son of a fucking bitch i uh Finally got this slab of fat off, as you can see. Yes, there is some meat on there, but it's it's no biggie. Um, what I like to do is I like to put it in a bag, a uh, freezer bag, so when it goes into the garbage, no animals can get a hold of it when I take it out when I take the garbage out to the curb. So. Uh, until the next step, stay with me. Next up, you want to take your meat and cut it into roughly a quarter to half an inch thickness. As you can see, I've already done. Uh, this one in particular is closer to half an inch. And then cut it into smaller pieces, as I have here. And until the next step, stay with me. Next up. After cutting up all of your meat into uh, jerky sized pieces, as you can see I did here, you want to take your ingredients. First, you want to take two cups of orange juice. One cup of light brown sugar. One tablespoon of soy sauce. And one teaspoon of ground cumin. Um, this one's to cooperate. Now I, I did take a uh, three point seven five pound um, thing of meat, and I cut it up into two. Yeah, I cut it up into half, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it uh, both batches into two separate containers. Um, so when you do this recipe, just do it for. Uh, do the two cups of OJ, one cup of brown sugar, and uh, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one tea, uh, teaspoon of cumin for each pound and a half or so. It doesn't have to be exactly a pound and a half. If you want to do a pound, this also works fine for that. So give your ingredients a good mixeroo. Put your meat in the Tupperware, put the lid on. Um, you don't have to use a Tupperware container. I just do this because it's easier to store in the fridge compared to a big bowl. Give it a good shake because you want all of the jerky to be completely coated. Um, if you want to let this soak overnight, that's fine, or even just put it in the fridge for a few hours before putting it in the food dehydrator. So until the next step, stay with me. 
After letting the meat marinate, whether you do it overnight or even just for three or four hours, you want to space all of it out on the racks on the food dehydrator. Mine took, the batch of three and a half pounds I'm using right now took three racks, as you can see. Um, so once you space it out, you want to take the lid, come on down here, set it to 165 degrees for seven hours and start. Until the next step, stay with me. Hey everyone, and welcome back. Now that the jerky is finally done, it's time to give it a taste test. So let's go ahead. As you can see, perfect in color, texture. To me, seven hours at 165 degrees is perfect, but some people have different preferences. So as I often say, you do you. Mm, pretty damn good. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but beep beep, because this is pretty freaking good. Don't just take my word though, try it yourself. Until next time, stay with me.